Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic, Dirty Uncle Sam Radio on RBN Network. Today's date is August the 25th, 2016, and I wanted to bring to you some information from the Citizens Commission on Benghazi. These individuals held a meeting on July 29th, 2016, and I have just obtained permission to be able to use their video in order to be able to spread this truth around. I would like to thank Roger Arnoff, editor for Accuracy and Media, or you can also find their information at www.aim.org. So the individuals that are going to be in this specific video that I am using is going to be Claire Lopez, who is a former CIA officer. She um, is the Vice President for Research and Analysis at the Center for Security Policy and a Senior Fellow at the London Center for Policy Research and the Canadian Megan Institute. She was formerly a Career Operations Officer with the Central Intelligence Agency, a Professor at the Center for Calendar Intelligence and Security Studies, Executive Director of Iran Policy Committee from 2005 to 2006, and has served as a consultant and intelligence analyst and researcher for a variety of defense firms. In 2012, Ms. Lopez was named a member of the Congressional Task Force on National and Homeland Security, which focuses on the electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, threat to the nation. She is also Deputy Director of the U.S. Counterterrorism Advisory Team for the Military Department of South Carolina's National Guard, and serves as a member of the Board of Advisors and Directors for the Center for Democracy and Human Rights in Saudi Arabia, the Clarion Project, the United West, and the Voice of the Cops, C-O-P-T-S, not C-O-P-S. Ms. Lopez is also a regular contributor to print and broadcast media on subjects related to Iran and the Middle East, and is the co-author of two published books on Iran. Another individual that's going to be speaking in this clip is going to be Admiral James Ace Lyons, United States Navy, retired. Admiral Lyons is a very well-respected admiral. He is a former four-star admiral who served as commander-in-chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, the largest single military command in the world, as deputy chief of naval operations from 1983 to 1985. He was the father of the Navy Red Cell, an anti-terrorism group of Navy SEALs he established in response to the Marine Barracks bombing in Beirut. His other commands included the U.S. Second Fleet, NATO Striking Fleet, as well as the Seventh Fleet Logistic Force plus several ship commands. He also served as Senior U.S. Military Representative to the United Nations. He is a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy and has received postgraduate degrees from the U.S. Naval War College and the U.S. National Defense University. Admiral Lyon's op-ed columns frequently appear in the Washington Times, Breitbart, and on the Accuracy in Media website where you can find www.aim.org. So what I wanted to address this specific video is going to be a short excerpt out of a two hour and 18 minute press conference from the Citizens Commission on Benghazi. These individuals are highly qualified. Please listen as they name names. As Claire Lopez states, quote, Clinton preferred to defend a re-election campaign above defending American lives that night, unquote. Of course, in reference to Benghazi. It is time that we get to the truth. It is time that we get to the treason. It is time that we get to the dereliction of duty. Thank you to all of the individuals who have selflessly continued down the path of investigation. Thank you, Roger Arnoff, whom is the editor of Accuracy and Media, for allowing me to use this footage to get it out to our listeners and to help you get the truth out there to more people. This right here is Claire Lopez. You want to identify yourself? I'm Paj Sekhem with Military.com. Um, 
much has been made of the delays in getting the, the Marine FAST team out uh, to Libya. And since you have you have this report and you've got these uh, retired general officers on the panel, I was curious to hear your thoughts of, you know, since the FAST team was not pre-positioned, since it was in Rota, when would the order to deploy have to come? When would they have had to leave to make any kind of real difference on the ground? One of you gentlemen. Well, I think at the time that um, uh, when uh, Secretary Panatis gave the order to deploy the forces, uh, that's what probably triggered them at that point. They probably, they should have been alerted before that, certainly with the out of control security situation, with the warning that was given on the 29th of August that uh, Benghazi had to be put on a special alert status. So, you know, this is not, uh, this is uh, not PhD stuff. This is common sense. You do what you have to do. And regretfully, it wasn't done. What I haven't found is why wasn't it done? Because it's really a dereliction of duty. If I might add to that just a bit, Secretary Panetta gave the order for the FAST teams in Rota uh, to deploy, to, to move um, to uh, at least down to Siganella, if not onward to Benghazi. Um, at about 2 a.m. in the morning, that would be local time. Um, unfortunately, uh, those teams had to wait until, if I recall correctly, but double check me in the report, something like 8 a.m. the following morning or later for a plane to come from Germany to pick them up and transport them, in the midst of which they had to uh, receive conflicting orders about what clothing to wear, uniforms or civvies, and they changed in and out of their clothing multiple times uh, through the night, according to um, changing orders coming from somewhere above, uh, but in any case, the plane that they needed to take them anywhere uh, never got to them until the following morning, uh, by the which time everything was over, and in the end, they wound up uh, traveling to Tripoli rather than Benghazi. Well, there were two teams. One was supposed to go to Tripoli, and the other one was supposed to go to Benghazi. The one to Benghazi got canceled. And of course, you have to ask why. They should have went in there, secured the facility, just and so like all the CNN reporters and everybody else went in there and found Ambassador Stevens' memo and so forth, and it took the FBI another three and a half weeks to get there. You know, come on. <laughs> They had been able to deploy within the hour of 2 a.m. Uh, from Rota, Spain. Do you think they could have arrived in time to save any American lives? I'm not sure if the FAST teams um, no, would, would have I been able so. to, uh, to make a difference, even for um, the, the two whose lives were lost at the very end of the night with a mortar attack. Um, but other assets, as the Admiral talked about earlier, the F-16 certainly could have gotten there well in advance and in, in time enough uh, to make a difference. But again, it was that cross-border authority that was withheld. Secretary of State Clinton um, preferred to defend a re-election campaign above defending American lives that night. Yeah, All right. I'm sorry. Okay. So as it has clearly been stated, and, and you need to see this entire conference, I have gotten permission from Roger Arnoff to be able to mirror this on my YouTube so that I have this accessibility to be able to get it out to my listeners. Uh, please make sure that you do check out aim.org. And these individuals are phenomenal individuals. I thank them very much for allowing me to do this. Make sure you do not copy and reproduce their video without express permission, otherwise it could be a copyright issue. However, I want to go back to what Admiral Lyons said, dereliction of duty. It is a clear and blatant dereliction of duty, especially when you listen to this entire um, press conference that was held on June 29, 2016, which the mainstream media, of course, has held very silent on. And 
the detriment of this is she chose to support a re-election campaign she chose to go along with continuing to covering up giving arms to terrorists funneling them from Benghazi into Turkey into Syria to arm the terrorists in order to try to overthrow Assad all of this is exposed in this press conference they are naming names we need to get this information out there of course I will have links to the full press conference in my video below please share it I will also later on have articles coming out about this as well as I will have the full upload of the video uh, later on uh, in order to be able to have you all share it as well however aim uh, is the one who has put this together of these phenomenal individuals who have refused to stop fighting to find out the full truth and the corruption that they expose in this press conference needs to go viral thank you very very much to each and every one of these individuals that refuse to bow to tyranny I appreciate you in so many ways and I know that the American people do as well I know the Benghazi families do as well we want to thank you for you standing up and doing what is right and exposing the corrupt and naming names and there will be more short videos just as this one as well as there will be the long full press conference available on my YouTube channel as well and look for upcoming articles very soon about this thank you again God bless you check your facts and watch your backs God bless you and good night